Okay, welcome back everybody. I'm Henry, President of SIMCC. Hello guys, I'm Haili, uh, SIMCC Scholar, awarded with the SIU SIMCC Scholarship to study Computer Engineering at SIU Carbondale and also an ex-participant of a lot of SIMCC competitions. Okay, so now we're into our third video and here we're going to show you the Math Mastermind gameplay as well as uh, winning strategy. So Rahaili and I will take turns to share with you on how we will approach the cards. So there'll be two rounds here. First, there'll be a team round where you'll spend 15 minutes on four cards, okay? And uh, basically, just like Mets Warriors, uh, you're in the same team, okay? So low division from, uh, in Singapore, we call it primary one to primary four. Middle division will be primary five to secondary one. And the upper division will be secondary two to JC two. Okay, so in the team round, you have four questions, 15 minutes. So take your time. Make sure every member, especially the weak members, understand how to play Math Mastermind. So many of the rules from Mets Warriors will be used here, especially in the mind attack. Okay, because when you come to the individual round, you only have eight minutes to answer four questions and you cannot help your weaker players. So if they don't score points, you're not likely to get your gold medal or your silver medal. Yeah. So please make sure everybody learns well. Okay, Rahali? Yes, and the scoring for this competition is a little bit different. So just to remember, from Met Warriors, we had three rounds of three games each. So each uh, team could uh, won from zero to nine points. And here on Math Mastermind, as Mr. Henry said, we will have two rounds. The team round composed of four questions that will sum up to a maximum of 10 points. And the individual round, also four questions. So each member of the team can get 10 points at a maximum. So altogether five players, it will be a maximum of 50 points. So when we sum up everything, all the nine points from Math Warriors, 10 points from uh, Math Mastermind team round, and 50 points from Math Mastermind individual round, we have a maximum of 69 points. And of course, a minimum of zero points. Okay, how do you get the 10 points? Very simple. So basically you have four cards. Card number one will be one point, card two will be two points, card three will be three points, card four will be four points, one plus two plus three plus four, 10 points. So the team round will have 10 points, individual round, same thing. Uh, each player can earn up to 10 points times five players will be 50 points. So that's how the five player team can get 69 points. Okay, Rahali? Yes, and we can also, due to the number of participants in the CMOC event, we might not be able to have all teams with five members. So if we have a team with four members, the only difference is the total number for the, the total number of points for the individual round would be 40 points. So we will need to convert that for the 50 point system to make it fair for everyone. So we will just divide the number of points of the individual round by four and multiply it by five. So for example, if you if your team altogether had 40 points, remember for a four player team, if your team got 40 points on the individual round, we will divide it by four. So 40 divided by four, 10 and multiply it by five, 50. You have the 50 total points that the same team with five player would get. So again, a maximum of 69 points, just to be fair. And this will okay. be... So, sorry, uh, one quick uh, add-on. How do we get players of three or four? Basically, we try our best to form five player teams. However, during that day, uh, some players may not turn up. Highly unlikely, but it could happen. Or a team member could be sick. Uh, so by adopting this new uh, scoring system, it becomes fair for everybody and we will not slow down the game team competition because of missing players and create any disadvantages for teams with less players. Okay, good luck. Yes, and the same will occur if we have a three-player team. 
So the maximum for the individual round would be 30 points. And to avoid that, and to be fair, we will divide it by three and multiply it by five. So the total number of points they can get is the same for all teams, a maximum of 69 points. Great. So here we have the rules. You want to explain them, Mr. Henry? No, you go ahead. OK, so here the rules are pretty simple. You have one central number and four surrounding numbers, and your objective is to form the central number through a mathematical expression using at least two of the surrounding numbers. And you can also use the four basic uh, arithmetic operations, such as multiplication, division, sum, and subtraction, uh, using brackets, of course. And remember, each number can only be used once. Unless it, it's repeated on the card, it can happen. You could have two surrounding numbers equal to four, and then you could use the number four twice, but that's the only case. Good. So let's okay, go to examples. I'll start. Okay, let me start with the first one. So basically, whenever I get a card, so remember, we're supposed to get the target number in the middle by using at least two to four of the numbers and Bokmas to achieve the number. So as I'm looking at 15, straight away, I'm looking, how can I get 15? So immediately, I see 19 and I see four. So I know 19 minus four is 15. So then I have my expression. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take nine plus 10, Minus one, minus four will give me 15. Okay, yeah. so that's the first strategy. So over to you, Rahali, for the next one. Perfect. So here on my card, I have a central number five and the surroundings two, A, 13, and 10. So the first thing I notice is we have eight and 13. And since I have done many calculations on my studies, I know that. 13 minus 8 is 5, so it just naturally occurs to me. But I also have the number 10. So there's one more possibility here. I could have 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And, well, we have more answers. So take care because each card can have multiple and multiple answers. It's up to you which one you will select. Up to you, Mr. Harry. Yep. Okay. So, um... Okay, so looking at this card, basically what I'm looking at the possibility is that. Okay, so I'm looking, so remember the rule on the game says that you must use at least two numbers. So I cannot use the number seven and say seven. Okay, you must use at least two numbers. So on here, what I see the possibility of is that uh, I have, uh, I can see uh, 35. So 35 minus 25 will give me a 10. So I'm short of, uh, I need to make a 7. So I have exactly a 3. So my one equation that I could use would be 5 times 7, okay, minus uh, 25 minus 3 would give me 7, okay? Uh, and there are other possibilities. So another possibility would be to take uh, 3 plus 7, okay, plus 25 will give me 35, divide by 5 will give me 7 as well. OK, perfect. So here for me, I have the number 16 and very weird surrounding number 7, uh, 11, 3. I cannot see many possibilities with this, but I see a 4 there. And 16 is 4 squared, 4 times 4. So I can manage to get another 4 out of that when there are a lot and a lot of them actually. So I have 7 minus 3, that's equal to 4, and I could just multiply by 4 again. So yeah, this will be my solution. 7 minus 3 multiplied by 4. And yes, that's one of the solutions, and actually we have a lot of them. Uh, good. Now you, Mr. Harry. Okay, lovely. Okay, so in this example here, uh, we have a 14. Okay, uh, so Okay, what I can see is that I can see a 8 divided by 2 would give me a 4, and uh, the two fives would give me a 10. So I have 5 plus 5, okay, uh, plus then uh, 8 divided by 2 would give me four, 14. That's very okay. good. Okay, yep. So here my card, oh, okay, so this is a hard one. Because we got a prime number, 
prime numbers are kind of hard because you don't have divisors to them. So let me think through this. My strategy right now, since I don't have uh, divisors, I will look to the surrounding numbers. I look to see if I can get a surrounding number and maybe do an operation with it. And here I see that I could get 48 pretty easily by multiplying 2, 4 and 6. So 2 times 4 is 8 and 8 times 6 is 48. And it's kind of near 43. And actually, if I do 48 minus 5, I can get 43. So yeah, that would be my answer. So here's a good strategy. If you see a number very hard to make, try to look at surrounding numbers and maybe you can get to your number through the surroundings. So in this case, yeah, 2 times 4 times 6 minus 5 and it seems to be the only solution. Okay, good. So here I'm given another very challenging card. So uh, it doesn't seem like I can get anything uh, like 35 from the four numbers that are given to me. Okay, uh, so then I'm going to look at possibility. So the possibility I see is that 35 would be made out of 5 times 7. Okay, how can I get a 5? So looking at 40 and 8, I can see the possibility there. So 40 divided by 8 would give me a 5. Good. So I solve one. So yeah. now I need a 7. So immediately 15 minus 8 would give me a 7. So there you have it, the answer. Okay. So what we have is 15 minus 8 times 40 divided by 5 would give me 35. Oh, that was a very good one, Mr. Henry. And just so you notice, here we can use the number 8 twice because it appeared twice. Otherwise, we could not. And well, moving to mine. Okay. This. Yeah, I have a two and very weird numbers. I don't think I can use the 21. The 15 is also weird, but okay. I probably need to use an even number. So I will use the, the six. Oh, actually, I can see that the 15 could be something related to the five. Okay, oh, I saw the solution. So here the 2 is a very small number, but I can use the 2 as a division between two bigger numbers. So maybe I could use 5 times 6, that's 30, a very big number compared to 2, and just divide it by 15, another big number. So two big numbers can make a smaller number through division, and that's what I did. So I could use six, 5 times 6, 30 divided by 15. Okay, very good. Okay, now we have a fraction. We Okay, so for those of you in the lower division, grade 1 to 4, don't worry. We're not going to give you a fraction for you to work on, okay? So don't worry. So, But for those students from uh, grade 5 to grade 12, there will be uh, in the middle division, I promise you, there'll be at least one fraction. In the upper division, you may get up to two fractions to deal with, okay? So here, let's deal with this particular one. Okay, so what I can see is that I have 47. Okay, I can immediately see a 45 already. So what I need is a two. So very simple. So eight times a quarter will give me two. Then five times nine will give me 45. So 45 plus two will give me uh, 47. Okay, so then to put it nicely, I will put five times nine plus eight times a quarter. Oh. That was a, a tough one. And let's see mine. And oh gosh, okay, fractions, they can be terrifying, but let's see. So I have 64. 64 naturally occurs to me to be eight times eight. And here's a, a price strategy. Fractions are not only division. You don't need to use division. So let's just go back here. Mr. Henry used eight time is one fourth as a division. He divided eight by four to get a two. But here on my case, since I need eight times eight, that's what I'm trying to do. I will use a fraction as a multiplication. I'm gonna use the fraction to multiply by eight. And how can I do that? I can divide by the fraction. When you divide by a fraction, you invert it. So if I'm dividing by 
one over eight, I will get a multiplication by eight, actually. So I have one eight, I just need to find another one. And that's pretty simple. I can just work with the number, so maybe I can get 10 plus seven, that's 17, minus nine. Yeah, 10 plus seven, 17, minus nine, eight, divided by one eighth, and that will give my answer. So that's a very pro tip. Use the fractions not only as a division, but you can use them as a multiplication. Remember that. So uh, to finish our video about the math mastermind, we need to show you how you fulfill the answer sheet on this competition. So you have an answer sheet like this one with 16 spaces to, for you to place your expression and then a lot of options below it to find the numbers or the symbols you want. So for example, here we are having the expression from the last example. So seven plus 10 minus nine divided by one over eight. So I just write the expression just like I did and I select below each of my symbol or number the, the box that contains it. So for example, on the first bracket, I will go down there and find the bracket as you see it's dark and you just do that for every symbol and also try to do that from the right try not to let to leave blank spaces in the middle of your expression and not to leave blank spaces at the right of your expression just like as i did if you need to leave blank spaces do it on the left side okay lovely so now we've gone through 10 cards with different strategies, different difficulty levels. Hopefully, that will give you an idea of how to deal and succeed with Math Mastermind. Okay, and I wish you all great success uh, in this particular session because over here, uh, as we showed you just now, you could earn a maximum between Maths Warriors, Math Mastermind, team and individual, you could earn 69 points for your team. And if you get at the upper sections of that, the remember the team events, the top 10, sorry, the top 8% in the games will get a gold medal. The next 12% will get a silver medal. The next 20% will get a bronze medal. So 40% of you will earn a medal in the team round. Math Warriors and Math Mastermind are one competition. We will combine their scores from the Math Warriors and the Math Mastermind, both team and individual rounds, to perform one unique score. So this is one competition composed by two games, but it's only one competition for both of them, okay? Uh, so remember, you can earn up to three medals, Math Olympiad, Math uh, Warriors, Math Mastermind, and Mind Sports. So potentially come to one event, you could walk home with three medals. If you walk home with uh, Mets Olympiad gold and at least two medals in the team event, likely you will become our next overall champion from grade one to grade 12 at CMOC 2024. Good luck.